Sin is basically disobedience. It's basically saying, God, I'm not going to do this your way. Um, and if God is the creator of the universe, if he is the source of life and, in, and light and everything good, then actually the, the end result of choosing to disobey God, to be separate from God, is that you're choosing to, to stand against everything that is right and good and just. Sin is best probably described in four relationships. That uh, we are alienated from God. We're not in right relationship with him. Uh, we're also in broken relationships with each other. So human beings aren't getting along. You can see that in all sorts of ways, whether that's in uh, a bullying situation or injustice in our world. We're not relate relating well to each other. But we're also out of relationship to our planet. Uh, the environmental crisis would be the kind of easiest way of, of illustrating that. And when we look at ourselves in the mirror, we're not normally at peace with who we are either. I'm either too fat, too tall, too young, too brown, whatever it is. And so the Bible would say those sense of dislocation in all four of those relationships is what sin is. And uh, it basically means every aspect of life is not all that it could be. All of it falls short of God's kind of original intention. And so sin is a major problem, not just for me as an individual, but for our society and for our world. So the end result of somebody saying, I don't want you God, I don't want your way of life, is actually at some point you're going to have to be removed from the picture. Because if God is all about creating a world where everybody flourishes, where everything works, where everything is just and good and peaceful, any situation or any person that says, I don't want that, there's no place in there anymore. And I think that's the picture of judgment in the Bible. And it sounds so harsh. It sounds like God's saying, unless you do this my way, I'm going to have a tantrum and say you're out of the picture and you're going to hell. And we get so fixated with that. But the reality, the brilliant reality is, it is about free will, that we are given the choice whether to accept or reject God's way of making this world whole. And if we reject it, then we actually put ourselves the other side of God's protection, actually, and we receive judgments. But the powerful thing we must never forget is that it doesn't have to be like that.